Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I'm over here at the log. Someone recently asked me if I ever fish at the log anymore, and I do, but I don't really catch much in the summer. We're here to try it anyway. I'll show you guys what it's like. We're gonna start out fishing with the good old fashioned red worms. Super basic rig, a float rig with a worm. Let's get started. Just kind of wadding the worm up on the hook here. Hooking it through three or four times. I'm using a size eight hook. Let's see if we can find a fish over here at the log. There are a lot of snags down here underwater. This is not just a log, it's basically a tree, and there are a lot of limbs to get snagged on. But we're gonna risk it. We're gonna see if we can get some fish over here. Hopefully some bluegill, maybe a small bass or something if we get lucky, we'll see. It gets a little bit more shallow as you go this way down the creek. There's a bite. Got him. Gets a bit more shallow as you go this way. What do we have? Small bluegill. Five incher. First fish of the day right here. Five inch bluegill. Yeah, let's let it go. Since we got one, let's get it back over there. See if we can get another one. Well, I thought there would be more fish. Well, so far, just the one bluegill. I actually might be better off fishing for bass in this area. I don't know why the panfish aren't here, but they aren't. I caught one bluegill. Usually where you catch one bluegill, there's a bunch, but not here. Let's go tie on something for bass. This is the Classic Man with RWF Wrestling. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. <laughs> Sort of felt like a bite there. Maybe not. Maybe a green sunfish or something. Just a few more casts here, then we'll go somewhere else. That's a bite. Fish. All right. Feels like a good one. What? What? There he is. All right. Got to be careful over here. There's a load of driftwood. Nice. Nice. Yeah, that's a good fish. Here we go, here we go. Got about a one and a half pound bass here. Good size, good thickness, nice and long. Yeah, got him on that Strike King Rage Tail Structure Bug, or just Rage Bug for short. Yeah, yeah, feels good to get a bass over here. Let's let him go. Nice fish. Yep, 
Yeah, there we go. That's what I got him on. Let's keep fishing. I gotta say, I did a little better than I expected. I got one bluegill, and I thought it was gonna end there, but I decided to throw around a Texas rig and got a decent bass. It is time to leave this spot though. I haven't had a bite since we're gonna hit the road. All right, I'm here at the next spot I'm gonna try for today. I actually went to one other spot, but it was already covered up. So I gotta hurry up and fish this one before I get crowded out. We're gonna start right here at the boat ramp because odds are if anyone shows up, it's gonna be a boat and they're gonna want this area. And since I'll give it to them, I'm gonna see if there are any fish here first. Hello, this is John in the UK. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. I'm going to cast from a good 20 feet back. My lure's not going way out. Did you see that? My lure's not going way out there. But if there's a fish nearby, I want them. Oh, damn it, I had a bite. I set the hook and went sailing over my head. Where are you? There you are. Maybe because I was talking. Maybe he just didn't have a good grip on it, but I missed him. Dang, I'm a little bummed that I missed that one. But it happens. We're gonna switch back to the float rig, the float and a worm. We'll see if we can get any panfish over here. Yep, that's what we're fishing with. Let's see if we can get anything over here. Fish on. Feels like a decent fish. Five inch bluegill. Ow. There he is. Five inch bluegill. Pretty much the same as the one I caught at that other spot. Let's try this again. There's a bite. Got him. Something small. Meh. Four inch bluegill. It is one more fish than I caught at the other spot though. Got him. Not very big. Trying to get under that cable. Got him. <laughs> Not so fast. Another four inch bluegill here. That's all I'm finding right now are the small ones. 
I'm Sloan from Wisconsin, Milwaukee. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Damn it. You see that? May have been a bass, but it may have been a carp. There was definitely something there. I didn't take my own advice of casting from 20 feet back. Scared a fish away. You know, I thought since I was here, you know, four minutes ago, fish, that he would still be gone. <laughs> I can't even talk right now. I got fish on the line. I got fish getting scared. I'm just babbling. Let's just stick to the fishing. That's a better one. Six inch bluegill. Probably the best looking fish today. Yeah, let's let him go. Got him. Get him through these weeds. All right, what do we got here? Another six inch bluegill, maybe seven. Now this looks like the best fish of the day. Yeah, nice and dark. Look how long this side fin is. Wow. Yeah, that's a good looking fish. Seven incher. Best fish of the day right here. Got him. Getting through those weeds. All right. Yeah, another nice bluegill here. Yeah, we got about a six incher here. Good fish. Kind of tricky casting over here with all these bushes and stuff, but it's worth it. This seems to be where the bluegill are. Well, a couple of them anyway. There's a bite. Got him. There we go. Another good looking six inch bluegill here. Maybe seven, six and a half. Interesting color on this one, kind of a flat army green. Hi, I'm Sherry. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. I still got some worm, so we're gonna keep going, but when this worm is gone, I'm gone. Let's see if we can get one or two more. Oh, I thought I had a bite. There we go, another bluegill, maybe. Yep, bluegill. Yeah, five and a half incher here. There we go. That one's a little bit bigger. Pulling some drag, I gotta tighten this up. Yeah, there we go. Biggest fish of the day right here. 
Yeah, that's a good one. Just a hair under eight inches, probably seven and a half. But look how tall and dark it is. Yeah, that's a good looking fish right there. And there we have it. Comparing the two spots today, the first spot, I actually did catch a bass. And I think that kind of trumps everything else. However, for the bluegill fishing, this spot was way better. I caught one bluegill over there at the log. Over here I caught, what, seven or eight? So, for me, that all amounts to a pretty good day. One nice largemouth bass, a handful of bluegill, including a couple of good ones. Yeah, yeah, I can leave satisfied. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.